In this video, I'm going to share with you the best defense in Madden 22 right now. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing in on helping people become the best Madden players they can possibly become. So if you're looking to get better on defense or if you're looking to get better on offense in this game, I would encourage you to subscribe. We upload videos every single day that can help you get better on both sides of the football. Okay guys, so I just released my first defensive guide of the year and you might be asking well, why would you release a guide um, with the way defense is right now well I think it's more important than ever and the reason why is because nobody can get a stop and so the way this game is made this year if you can consider if you can get like maybe two stops a game even one stop a game you'll it's very likely that you're gonna really increase your chances of winning the game so I've been spending a ton of time on the defensive side of the ball this year really labbing and trying to find num not only blitzes but also coverages that will actually work for what we're trying to accomplish and I feel like um, I'm in the best position at least possible right now now as the game gets patched over the first couple of weeks we're hoping for a patch that might help these zones play a little bit better um, I will tell you that we will be updating this guide um, throughout the first month of the game so this is gonna be the best defense for the first month in my opinion I'm committed to making that for you so whatever updates we need to do to the guide if anything changes that I'm doing I will be updating this guide for you it's just 15 bucks to get the guide and it's in the description of this video but I wanted to give you a sample play um, and that's out of this LB cross three show two this is my favorite defensive play in the game. It's, it's, I pretty much, as you see here, I've called it almost a thousand times. I literally sit in this all game long. And um, the reason why is because of the pressure that you can get. I will adjust the crap out of the coverage. And uh, occasionally what I'll do is I'll put like the cover three match, the cover four in my audibles if I wanted to run a coverage based defense. And then I'll actually base align my defense so that um, nobody moves as far as like linebackers or anything like that, which is I think super important because um, you want everything to look the same. But anyways, all that to say, um, LB cross three show two for my money this year is the way you want to at least start the game out, especially from a blitzing perspective. We're going to show you why in this video. Um, and then, we're, and then from a coverage perspective, um, you're just going to adjust the coverage depending on the formation you're playing. One of my favorite adjustments is to put uh, both safeties on inside quarters. That's kind of like how I'll start. And I'll basically just try to use her the whole left side of the field. Now, again, obviously in Madden 22, that's very difficult. But with the pressure being as good as it is from this play right here, they're not going to have a ton of time to be able to make a decision. So that being said, let's dive into the blitz. And again, if you want to get the defensive guide, there's a link down in the description for you to be able to get that defense for just 15 bucks. And like I said, we're going to be updating this defense over the course of the first month of the game. So pretty much any updates that are necessary, we're going to add those in for you for completely for free. Okay. So LB cross three show two. Um, I first off real quick, turn auto flip off. So if you're in practice mode, you need to go into settings here and you need to go to game options and you need to turn this off if you're in play now or you're in a game then just turn that off with your coaching adjustments okay because you want this to come off the left edge and all we're going to do is we're going to um we're going to spread our defensive line we're going to crash our defensive line down and then we're just going to user this guy right over here okay now this is just the blitz don't worry about the coverage yet just want you to watch the blitz as you can see the blitz completely screams off that left edge every single time it's very consistent when you run the five-man version if you run the five-man version it's really consistent what i also like about it is it's super super fast to set up now the other thing is let me show you an instant replay here what happens uh with this pressure so when like i said when you send the five-man version we actually have versions of this blitz in the defensive guide that will show you how to send it with sending two sending three sending four sending five we have six man, seven man. We have two man all the way up to eight man pressures out of this defense. The reason I'm saying that is because any kind of blocking scheme they're gonna have, this, this defense that I'm showing you right now is kind of the core. And then we basically build off of this throughout the entire defensive guide and show you how to adjust to whatever the offense is gonna do from a blocking mechanic scheme. Let's go into instant replay real quick here. What you're gonna notice is um, this is really the perfect um, solution. So you see that that nose tackle is gonna get a double team 
this is perfect. And what you'll see is this linebacker. If you have a fast linebacker, like the Bucks are perfect for this scheme, in my opinion, because they have really fast linebackers like Devin White, who's got, I think, 92 speed. So he gets so many sacks for me. He almost never plays coverage for me. I'm just going to blitz this guy. I like using the Cardinals with Isaiah Simmons as well. But you're going to see just screams right in the middle. And then you also get your edge. So this is two-man pressure, only sending five. You're getting two free every single time. Okay, not every single time you get you'll get two free about 80% of the time So now when your opponent goes to block a running back I want to show you kind of what this looks like from a blitz perspective You're just gonna stand here really important when you're standing here with your user Your job is just to wiggle him like left and right to try to try to just trigger the guard That's all you're trying to do. You're trying to just get the guard to kind of come at you, you don't you don't actually this year want to run down in my opinion you want to do a little wiggle kind of like a little stutter step um, I think that works better so anyways, snap the ball, just kind of wiggle. And what you'll see here is we get the edge pressure off the edge. What typically happens is because the looping pressure, um, because the looping pressure is coming through the A-gap, the running back will almost every single time go after the looping pressure, okay? Almost every single time he'll go after that looping pressure. So that's gonna allow this to continue. You, you see I get that instant shed and it comes around. So if he does get picked up, in a five man or six man protection, you almost always will get this instant shed as you can see right there. And as soon as we can put an edge threat out there, um, as far as an ability perspective, if you can put edge threat on that guy, that is really ideal. One little pro tip as far as looking at this is you need to make sure that your lineman adjustments register. If they don't register, the blitz won't work. So if you just if, if they're just kind of on their standard crash, it's not gonna work. You have to crash them down. Cause you see when you crash them down, you see that guard, see what just happened. And if you have edge threat elite, once we can get edge threat elite, I love that for that player. Um, but anyways, let me just show again. So if, if you look at my screen right now, take a look at this, this, if you get this look, this means the blitz won't work. All right, you can't just, you can't just hot blitz that guy You'll see here, I mean, the five man will still work every time, but the sit, the, the, if they block a running back, it's not going to work properly. Okay. You have to crash the line down um, and you have to make sure that that adjustment registers. So what I typically do is I'll crash down probably three to four times just to make sure this registers so that that nose tackle does the proper uh, thing that we want him to do. So here, I think we got it. Snap the ball. And you see again, you get that edge threat and it's pushing the pocket. That time the running back actually defended it pretty well. It might just be because I'm running the same blitz over and over in practice mode, because practice mode can be like that sometimes. Now I wanna show you this tight end. So let's say they wanna block the tight end and let's say they wanna put a back out on a route. Okay, I just wanna show you what this looks like. So if they put a back out on a route, uh, what you're gonna see is you should still completely screen right there my user was poor on, on holding that guy but if i can get that guard if i can get that guard to hold then if they block a tight end it won't matter because that tight end is going to trigger a three-man protection scheme off those three-man rush there they're not going to get this back side so uh, again if i can just get this if i can just get this guy um kind of positioned properly and then i'll just snap here i'm just going to hold see right there we got a see in the loop coming come in even 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 then so as you can see the point of this video is um or the point of this blitz is not necessarily that it's going to come in completely free every single time and because we, we don't have time to make that a, a reality um and what i mean by that is we don't have time as far as like the user uh, we don't we can't just sit here um and hold right we got to get out in the coverage but as you see right there completely screams um, if we have to abandon our coverage quick, so like what I mean by that is if you're watching the, like if you're reading this as a defensive player and you see, oh crap, the back went out on a route, I got to go get him like ASAP. Well, if you're sitting in the five man, oh, if he's out, I'm just going, I'm just going at that point. Cause I know the pressure is going to come no matter what. Right now, if the back blocks, then what I would recommend is, um, if, the, if you say, oh, the back's blocking now, I'm gonna come in just a little bit, try to get him to commit a little bit more, right? Just just a little bit, try to, give me, try to get him to commit a little bit more. Again, the biggest thing, what you wanna practice with this pressure is you really want to learn how to hold this guard. Um, I've spent a ton of time on this. I've found, you know, that again, being, holding like left trigger uh, can also help a little bit. So if I just hold like left trigger here and snap the ball, 
you'll see just kind of wiggle that guard around i almost always can get that that shed animation off of this um but if i if i again that that wiggling of mechanic of trying to get the user out of the way i've also you can try other things too you don't just have to use the blitz um thing I, things i've tried are like chibi spy um put him in a zone you know those are all things that you can do um, so you see here hold the guard that time i think we got pretty good animation and you see how they just loop around so the point of this is just to show the main concept is a five-man rush that's the main thing that you're going to do okay the main concept is this five-man rush um you can contain i've found that contain uh if i contain off this edge here let's see if the and i don't know if i can get the adjustment to register but i'm just containing a couple times here trying to get this thing to register and who knows if it actually will but you'll see here the contain is really good for the five-man pressure i'm not necessarily convinced that it's great for the two-man um at least in my expense or um or i'm sorry not not just great for the two-man but I've, i'm not necessarily convinced that 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 pressure specifically um is great against the block running back because you'll see right here um you see how they see how they kind of hold each other up so that's why i typically don't contain but you can contain i'm not saying you can't anyways all that to say that's pretty much the blitz um if you want to get the defense it's in the description and again one little thing that you can do off of this it's all about your coverage so oftentimes you'll see me just bring these guys in the box put them on inside quarters and then i'll just do this and my defense is pretty much set this is pretty much the defense that I'll spend the majority of the game in at this point in the year um, because the pressure is so good. And if I can confuse you a little bit on that backside, I certainly will. Um, you know, and then we can obviously, guys, we can adapt off of this. So, for example, um, if I'm facing gun bunch, well, there's no seam threat on this side of the field. So I'll put a quarter to the bunch side, maybe drop that guy into a purple. And then now I can use her. Now I'm free to go get. You know any kind of crosser so i just hold get out and go get the crosser and if you watch that back and it's a replay there's not really anything open so anyways guys that is the idea um and the concept of this blitz there is so much more that i can't unpack in this video the defensive guide has hours of footage where we break down exactly how to defend bunch exactly how to defend trips right now exactly how to play defense and really like i said you have to come to grips with the fact that you're basically playing to try to get one to two stops a game that's basically what you're doing. And we teach you how to do that in this defensive guide. So thanks for watching the video. Again, if you want to get the defense, it's just 15 bucks and it's on sale in the description. There's a link in the description below that will take you right to it. Again, just 15 bucks, super cheap. And uh, I hope you like it. I've been putting a ton of work in on the defensive side of the ball. This, in my opinion, is the best way to be playing defense right now in the game.